Work? We're back on. Did it work? We got kicked off. We got 58 off. people are already here. Woohoo! Yay! You guys know that if we lose you, we'll come back. You know, I can't help but wonder. I feel like we were around an hour, and I did hear that some streaming platforms are, you know, um, cutting back cutting on back the, the streams the because there's so many people. So that could be why. Because um, otherwise, we last night we did the whole update thing. So YouTube is a cruel mistress. All right, so if you're just joining us, this is part two, part one. We just filmed earlier. We went ahead, I told you about how to mix up your milk paint, how to use it, why you use it, and you just saw it come to life, right? All these lovely parts. Who else loves furniture that has this much distressing onto it? If you do, this is gonna be a great product for you guys to use. So as we were cluing up before we just got cut off, somebody had a great question. They said that if they use uh, Miss Petunia Monkey here, the Junk Monkey Milk Paint over a previously painted surface, Will it chip and crack like we're seeing right now? All you have to remember is that if Miss Petunia, if, if you have a poor surface and she can hang on, she's going to hang on. So therefore, if you've paint, painted it before, chances are, unless it's super shiny, she might be able to hang on really, really well. If you ever want to um, you know, make her act up on top of a previously painted surface that's not shiny, okay? If it's shiny, she's gonna fall and she's gonna chip. Shiny like Use the hiney. Use the chippy hippie because this is what I did on this door over here. It was previously painted in a light color. I put a very light coat of um, chippy hippie over the top of it and then I brought my brush with my paint. Let me just do a demonstration as if. All right, so it was painted with the antique lace below it. I put a light layer with my brush of the Chippy Hippie all over it while it was still wet. I came in with my paintbrush just like this and whoo, did a drag over the top of it and that is the immediate, like it happens before your eyes, okay? So the question Shailen just came in. Yep. Um, she said, yeah. if you want it to stick, how much of the extra bond do you use? Um, honestly, it depends on how much you mix up in the bag. You really don't need a lot. So when you have your paint made, I usually, I do remember how I always say it. I just do a little glug, glug, glug. It is like that. Like tonight I did a quarter of a cup, so it's always going to change. But honestly, if I were doing this for this amount right here, I might only use maybe, um, maybe a quarter of a cup as well with it. Okay. And then you're just going to have to stir it really, really well to get it into it, but just pour a little bit into it. That's all you really need to do. Like, I'm just trying to think, what can I tell you? And like, pour, pour, let it pour for like a couple seconds into it, right? All right, let's go ahead and take, and go ahead and buff this off and finish it off. So I'm gonna use a, one of these fun polishing pads that are on our website. I tell you guys, that if you don't want too much distressing, use one of these pads right here. If you ever want a lot of distressing, then use a coarse grit sand pad, okay? So I'm gonna do this part because I want all the chippiness to fall off before I seal it. I want Miss Petunia, the part that she wants to fall on the floor, let's let that loose. So this is kind of fun because she's probably gonna give away a lot, but I'm gonna wrap this around here. Ooh, look at all the, oh, don't you just love the chippiness. You see that? Oh, there's a lot. I kind of figured there would be a lot. But I love this yeah. look, so this is this is ideal to me. Yeah, I think uh, YouTube's having connection problems tonight because there's a lot of people dropping in and out. So you're not the only one, Mary. I think it it's all yeah. over the place. This just could be a lot of people. So like I am polishing right here. And you see where she's giving me. You cannot imitate this with a with distressing right the milk paint gives you just an amazing design all natural so there's it's very spontaneous hey, when you use the milk paint oh my gosh guys i love that look right there all right so here's where she volcanoed right miss petunia through a temper tantrum there she goes we're gonna polish get the stuff that wants to stick to stay Get the stuff that wants to chip to fall. Well, on the painted piece, um, like I said, if the paint's porous, she can stick. Yeah. She can. She's gonna stick really well. Yep. So she's not gonna chip as much as what she will on another surface. If you're just painting a brownie frowny piece of furniture with no paint job on it, that's when you're gonna really see her chip. Yeah. I even lost my total connection of my phone service earlier just out of nowhere. Yeah. 
you or is that somebody was saying that? was somebody that? else. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I just think there's probably so many people right now you, using so much. Melinda says, YouTube has been doing it for a couple of days now. Yeah, thank you for letting us know that. Yeah. We thought it was just us. <laughs> is it us? <laughs> like I said, last night we wrapped ourselves in foil wrap. Yeah, I was about to say, you know, if you if you really don't like us, just tell us. You know, we, we, you know. You can handle it? Yeah, we can handle it. We're adults. <laughs> we're, we're adults. So what do you guys think so far? Are you in love with Miss Petunia? Oh, yeah. She's sexy. She is this the best. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Teresa. So we just got to dust all this stuff off. Now, like this section right here, she gave me some cool looks with the paint. But we didn't see any cracking, right? And chipping. Mm -hmm. okay. She hung on. Yeah, she did. She hung on down there. She hung on for dear life. Ah, thanks, Teresa. Now, if you want this more distressed, just take your sand block and add in more distressing. But I'm really happy with the level that I got right now. I feel like when I wax this and put on the monkey shine, I almost it's fell over. Pop. <laughs> I think I just need to go to bed. Don't fall over. I'm I think bed. it's time for me. Is the polishing pad better than the sand block? There's, it, a, there's a difference. There's a major difference. Um, not that it's any better or any worse, but it just depends on the job you're doing. So this is ultra fine. So I am polishing right now, okay? I'm just, basically, it doesn't rip your paint off. What it does is it softly polishes. So if you're doing, for example, this is a thing to use in between laying down paint layers if you ever want a more professional finish. It won't rip your paint off. What you're seeing come off right now is the, is the <laughs> petunia, right? This petunia. This just um, polishes, gets rid of anything that wants to fall off. But if I wanted to distress, not polish, I would use this guy. Because I, yeah. when I rub this guy, you see what yeah. happens? Yeah, you just totally tears into it. tears up stuff, right? Yeah, stop it. I know, I don't want to add any of that. I know, I'm, I'm like you. I love the natural chipping. I don't know, Linda, Linda, Linda. I may have lost all functionality of my fine motor skills, so we'll have to see when I try to climb the stairs to go to bed tonight. You're going to have to sleep on the first floor. Yep. Okay. I set up a little cot in the library. We like that. All right, how do we get all the way over there? We're going to like this dance. Well, I'm coming over here to look at no, it so I get a whole view of it's it. It's me, not you, you. You pushed it the whole way over there. All right, let's wax this puppy and call it a night. All right. Well, give me a second here, oh, dude. Oh, dude. I just noticed something. I got to dust something here. I just noticed something. What? Oh. This does not hold water. <laughs> okay. Because, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to. Penny says, I keep losing you. What's happening? I don't know. I think uh, there's something wrong with YouTube tonight. I think there's some, been something wrong for the past couple nights. Oh, I love it. Just look at that. It will look great in your house. I agree with you, Melody. All right, we have to get all the chippiness. Show them on the inside down there. Gorgeous. All right, friends. Let's go ahead. Remember that gorgeous color? Mm -hmm. Well, we have just, because of the minerals and the clay... We have just... Are you yawning again? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I think my, my painting puts Matt to sleep. It's very relaxing. It's it like Bob be. Ross. Is it? Is that what it yes, is? Yes, it's Bob Ross. All right. We're, we're going to say that that's what's actually the truth. All right, She's so a pretty ahead. one. And bring that color back to Ooh, life. It's good like So that. I started to say that when, you, um, when uh -huh. you sand or polish, you'll see it mute down. <laughs> that is normal. And then you go ahead and you dip into your monkey shine, which is an oil wax finish. The monkey. Spork and fork right there. The monkey shine. We didn't just stop at beeswax. We added oils. All right. And now we're going to see that color come back. But first, we got to get our sealer all over it so we can plug off all those porous pores. Porous pores. Quick, so you guys can see it. Am I in the light? I might be. I might be like blocking the light. You are. All right. Light blocker. I'm gonna 
light sucker. So, what do you think so far, guys? It's beautiful. Do you want to like bring them up close and show them this down here? Yeah. yeah. Right here, so they can really see it come to life. I'm just trying to avoid sucking up the light. Yep. So. How pretty that is. And that is why, my friends, you use the milk paint. Silver Pete would look gorgeous over that. Yeah, it would. I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so, where is, is YouTube it? letting people back on? Oh, what's it doing? Uh, people are coming on and then they're getting kicked off. Uh, uh, Mary says doing a piece that is already painted antique white and yeah. I'm putting unicorn tail over top. Okay. So, is it sealed? So, I'm just trying to think, you know, what effects you're going to get. So, you're using... Um, hey! What? I'm just saying, hey. Huh? You scared me. Well, HWY138 says, hey, and I'm oh, saying, oh, hey, oh, back. Oh, 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 okay, that was really exciting. I'm an oh, exciting my. person. This is so gorgeous. You picked a good color for this piece. Of course I do. <laughs> Yes, you did. Oh, not sealed yet. So you're going to have a lot of pour. You, it's going to be uh, very porous. So Petunia is going to grab a hold of that, and yep. she's going to hang on yep. for dear life. So what you would do is put a light layer. Of <laughs> Rebecca said while well, you were in off. Between, okay, your milk paint. Say that again because I was talking. Uh, and I use monkey shine in my beauty routine. Yeah, yeah, you know. Well, naturally. Yep, some people do. We're not telling you to do it, but we know people that do. Shine their boots and... <laughs> they do everything from shine their boots to put it on their elbows. You got it. Yep, absolutely. And our next load of brushes are on route to us, yes. guys. We got the confirmation today, so it might be as early as tomorrow. Oh my gosh, like I am in love. In love. <clears throat> what we were saying the other night? Love. No, it's not love. 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 True love. <laughs> And two people are Maui'd. That's right. All right, go over, give them a quick, quick look over, and then we are going to go ahead. Yeah, it looks like YouTube is kicking people off, guys. Hopefully this will post, so anybody who didn't get to see the final review will be able to go back and watch it. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. I do too. So now what we do is we buff it out. Shannon says, I think you're overtired. No, you're just not around me 24-7. I'm like this all the time. I will quote random 80s movies and Sonia will be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I just think it's how we get through life, right? Yeah. We just deal with it in different ways. Some people make noises. Matt might quote movies. Oh. All right, now we're buffing it. And guys, when we're buff, we're done. Yep. And she's ready to go. Now I'm going to have to find a nice big chunky candle to go on the top. I have one, but I need a nice bigger one. For this. You need some chonk. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, she's a beauty. I don't know, Sonia. I think that might be my word of the week this week. What? Chonk. What does that even mean? It's chonky. Yeah. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. You're funny. I'm feeling the chonk. There we go. Okay. Wow. That it is. Looks like a world map, doesn't it? That is super shit shit. Yeah, it is. Now, this candle's not big enough, but I'm going to have to go the next Ooh. time I'm out. And. Battery operated one with the timer. We have one. That would be one. good. We just need a chunky one, right? Yeah, chonky. Yes, exactly. What, you what is said, that right there? I don't know. A nail has come up through My the floor. Feet. It yeah. is. That's all I need. I gotta stain this floor eventually. All right, and there we are. I'm gonna put this at the top of my stairs and love on it and probably paint everything in this house this color. 
Or you think we should put it in the library? It should go somewhere in the house. Do you want to go close? Give him a real close I look. have been. We, we're going. All we're right. going. We're, we're showing it. All right, friends. And that is your first example of milk paint at work. Will we'll continue think? to chip now you sealed it. No. It is sealed. That is the sealer. That is, it the is done. The wax oil finish is the sealer. Yep, it's done. All right, you want to get in front of here Perfect. and say good night? You ready to go to bed? Say good night, Gracie. Well, Matt sounds like he's telling me that, um, you know, you don't have to, uh, what's that saying they say in the bars? You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Yeah. All right, friends. So this was night one of the milk paint. I'm so glad I have the before photo and now the after photo. It's going to look gorgeous. Hopefully it inspires you. We just launched 10 new colors last night. They are currently all in stock right now. So if you want to get on the first launch of the new colors, now's the time. And plus tons of the other colors, the older mm -hmm. colors are back. All right. I'll see you guys again tomorrow night. Linda, Linda, Linda gets it. <laughs> I'll see you guys again tomorrow night, and uh, I have another piece to paint. Take care. Thank you for sharing this video. If you enjoyed it, give the video a thumbs up, and leave me a heart below. I love oh, I almost started singing Sound of Music. Not really? good. Not good. All right. All right. See you guys. Good night. Bye.